Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started, steel frame design by using e -tabs. So that is our lecture seven, and in our previous all lecture, we have completed our full model. Now in this lecture, we'll go for our next part. So let's start. And before starting, if you new here, you can watch our previous lecture. That link are also given in description. And also, if you new here, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. So first of all, I'll open our previous model. So that is our previous model. You know that. This is our previous model. Okay, next to view. So that was our previous model actually. So now we'll uh, define load on it, and you know that our third story is same as for our all story. So simply I'll select here all story. Now if I as a load here, then it will be applied to all story. So this is story third. Now I'll go define from here. I'll go load pattern okay our load pattern is dead load okay one live load and this is super dead load that will be the super dead load this is zero then add then earthquake extraction then it's seismic and the code is I'll use 710 right I'll use 710 now um, it's done then add and I'll simply take X Y direction right seismic then add now I'll go for wind X then it should be wind then code is 710 the latest American I mean SCE American Society for Civil Engineers code add then W Y it's add so we have uh, defined our all load pattern then simply click okay and uh, in our next some video uh, for earthquake define I'll create a video and for wind load define I'll create a video because this is uh, most sensitive and uh, for wind load and earthquake defend they have some difficulties for still structure that's why I'll go in our some next lecture okay so uh, it's okay when it's okay so simply click okay right when it's okay now we can go here define the load combination so from here we'll take auto you can add new combo as per your design code but I'll take default so this is the steel frame design composite beam design right and here all is okay now convert to user combination editable then okay okay here is our all code that are required so simply click okay so our load define is also okay so everything is done now I will define our load here so simply I'll select just see here when we have selected our all slab have selected now I'll go here assign then shell load then uniform load and from here we'll assign load here actually so for that I will assign here Uh, for dead load, this is for dead load. It will also automatically consider for super dead load. I will take 25 psi. Oh, uh, sorry, it's psf. Right, uh, the force is psf. Uh, 25 psf, and simply click apply. Okay, it's 25. Then again click here. Please select. Then from here select live load. This is. I'll consider 100 100 pound okay it's okay now simply click apply and okay so we have defined our live load and dead load now we'll go for our so we have uh, provided that load for our that slab now we'll go for our stair so for that we'll go select click here select and uh, from here properties type then slab section from here one slab one I'll just this is not slab actually this is deck section property section then deck section this is the stair deck stair then select now see here our all 
Esther slab has selected from top to bottom then close now I'll go here assign uh, shell load then uniform then here live load 100 it's okay apply after that simply click P select then for dead load give her 25 and this is for dead load super dead load then simply click apply then okay so it's done we have defined our all simple load here right so in our next lecture I'm just going to show you that how we define our wind load and earthquake load so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first